We begin tonight with what everyone is talking about this week, the two tornadoes that touched down in San Luis Obispo County. Here's Jacob Dizon with a deeper look at how this could happen. After going more than two decades without seeing a tornado touch ground in San Luis Obispo County, this week two tornadoes hit the central coast on the same day, bringing down trees and fences along Rockaway Avenue. I'm Jacob Dizon covering your community in Grover Beach, and I spoke with National Weather Service officials who filled me in on how it happened. It is something that we generally see with um, these smaller tornadoes. You'll see a lot of debris flying through the air, um, and you can have all of a sudden, like very sudden, gusty, increased winds. National Weather Service meteorologist Lisa Phillips says in the Midwest, tornadoes are more common due to dry air coming down from the mountains, mixed with moist air moving in from the south that creates rotation in the atmosphere. And that is what we had a couple days ago with this storm. In this case, we didn't have actual thunderstorms, but we did have very strong showers that created strong updrafts. Um, those two interact with each other to create a tornado. It's pretty crazy to think that we have a uh, tornado here on the Central Coast. Jennifer Shepard, who lives in Arroyo Grande, tells me Wednesday afternoon she had friends and family reach out to ask if she was okay after the tornado passed through. She says she could hardly believe that a tornado spiraled through the region. KSBY meteorologist Vivian Rennie adds that the occurrence was a rare one. Storms that can create tornadoes are really rare here on the central coast and really rare across the entire state of California. Typically they form on what's called a dry line. It's basically a cold front, but instead of warm and cold air, it's in between very dry and very, very moist air. Rennie says the EF1 tornadoes that hit both Grover Beach and Los Osos Wednesday were stronger than the last tornado that came down in Oceano 20 years ago. And while Phillips says the probability of them happening in our local communities is slim, she wants people to know what to do in the event of another tornado warning near their home. Get away from those windows and um, hang out there until the storm has passed. So that's the best way you can stay safe. Phillips says she and her team are still studying Wednesday's tornadoes and will release more details soon. Ariel Cohen, the National Weather Service Oxnard's meteorologist in charge, tells me the last tornado that struck ground in Santa Barbara County was an EF0 tornado that hit a mobile home park in Carpinteria last March. In Grover Beach, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News.